Hey everyone, it's me. I'm back with another video. Um, and it is a story time. Yeah, it's a bit of a random one though. Um, part two. I don't know I'm out. I know the risks. But we're gonna. You know, just don't give me any hate on that. I know the risks. And I know I'm out. But I'm probably gonna get in with another story time. You know, because why not? And I just love doing story time, so it's so fun. But anyway, I don't know my hair's down. I like my hair down at the moment. Don't know why, considering normally I hate my hair being down. But anyway, <laughs> we're gonna get into it now. It's story time. I like the wasn't really planning on doing this story time, but we're gonna do it anyway because fuck it. And if I get anything, I'm just gonna ignore it because my life is better than that. I mean, I'm better than that. Um, right, anyway, hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new here, hey, my name is Laura. Um, so today's story time. I'm looking forward to this one. You know, not that I wasn't looking forward to ones, other ones, but I'm looking forward to this one quite a bit. Anyway, so, today's story time. I hope you're looking forward to it as much as I am. So, this story time is about the Williams I had with the police. You know, and they were never... They were never good Williams. You know, I would, because when I was, you know, when I was 16, I would abscond like a little shit, you know, and I would do things I wasn't meant to do. I would always end up with, you know, a severe telling off from the face. And yes, I know I have my earpiece up here, before I'm changing it this month. Yeah, it's this month I get to change it, which is great. Um... You know, and I would get into arguments with the police, and eventually, you know, they just gave up on me. They gave up trying to tell me. I like, literally gave up. Um, you know, I'm not in any shape or form glorifying prison or running bad run-ins with police or that kind of thing not glorifying it because you know breaking the law it's it's not okay um so. one of my favorite ones i say it's my favorite one once i got caught yeah my best friend at the time um we got caught at brighton station with the wrong ticket um you know, we were over the age of 16, 15, sorry. Um, so legally we had to buy an adult train ticket. Now a child train ticket is from five to 15. I think we were 16 and over. So, but we were still buying kids tickets. We didn't, we didn't care. You know, I'm not, again, once again, not glorifying it. Don't do it. But I just, just buy the correct ticket, guys. Like, it's not cool to like, be a little shit. <coughs> but at the time, I didn't care. Didn't care. And so, the nice people at Brighton, they were lovely. They let us through. We were just like, don't do it again. And then, we go into Brighton. Yeah, like, yeah, whatever, mate, see ya. Um, on this particular night, we were out, you know, fake ID, little fake IDs. It was great. And if any of the bouncers watching uh, from the clubs and stuff are watching this, I'm sorry. Sorry, mate. I'm sorry I was a shit and you hated me. I'm a changed person now, I promise. Um, we went into the pubs, clubs, 
had a few drinks and we played had a bottle of vodka on us. Yeah. And then, so the end of our night, you know, we were pretty, pretty drunk. Got back to, you know, our mate at the time was meant to be picking us up, let us down. And I'm on the sick 11 o'clock at night now. So, anyway, yeah, and we had a bottle of vodka. It was the end of my night. My mate let us down, blah, blah, blah. And the police brought up with us on our way to the train, ta train station. So we're like, oh, shit, how we can get back through barriers if then people are still there? Like, we've got to get home. Like, are we going to live in the streets of Brighton? Until, like, for, for the near future, blah, blah, blah. So, anyway... We are heading back to Brighton train station with a tire ticket and we get stopped by the police and they're like we have reason to believe you you have drugs and a dangerous weapon and we're like what? No. Like like, no, like, we had drunk the, the vodka and thrown it away, so that evidence, they didn't have that evidence against us that we'd been drunk to him. And, so they didn't have that evidence against us. But at this moment, moment in time, they were searching our belongings in suspicion of having an illegal substance and a dangerous weapon. I can remember this night so clearly, so I'm amazing, despite I was wrong. Um, so, they, they found nothing on us, obviously, like, we smoked our drugs didn't even have a dangerous weapon, you know. Yes, we'd been drinking that night and we had pardon me. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, and yes we had been taking drugs. But we made sure that we weren't gonna get caught. Like every time we went out drinking we would make sure we weren't going to get caught, like, so, we had any, like, alcohol, drugs on us, we, we made sure it was drunk and taken, so, we got stopped by the police, asking us what we were doing, where we were going, who we were going to see, you know, they wouldn't, like, have any evidence against us to, um, like, you know, they, they'd have no, like, actual, um, like, there, there were no empty vodka bottles, no empty bottles at all, no doggy bags, nothing. There, were, there was none of that kind of evidence, like, despite the fact that I, I, uh, our peoples were dilated, you know, they're not going to arrest us on the, on the grounds of pupils being dilated. You know, they couldn't arrest us on the suspicion, but because they wouldn't have the evidence to support that allegation, it wouldn't have been, um, it would have been a pointless arrest, and it would have been, you know, they would have been wasting their own time, like, and I don't know if you know this, but in the UK, um, Wait, there, there are some really weird things you can get arrested for, such as wasting police time, uh, 
being under the driving while under the influence of alcohol or an illegal substance, carrying a blade over the side over the length of three centimeters, um, carrying a gun. Um, and I know that sounds really weird, yeah, but unlike America, we in the Third Amendment, excuse me, we don't have the right to bear arms unless we're in the army or the armed police or, you know, the armed services. So, so yeah, they never actually had any hardcore evidence against us to A, arrest us, B, take us to court. Um, so, whenever they did stop us, um, they would never have, like, any substantial evidence to arrest us. We'd get stopped, they'd be like, have you got anything? You'd be like, no. I have no idea what you're on about, bro. Like, no idea, bro. But on this night, my ex-best friend was like, yeah, we've been doing drugs, some drugs, mate. We've been drinking, a bit high, been drunk. I'm like, what are you doing, bro? Like, you're a fucking loose cannon. Not coming back out with you, bro. And then they were like, right, for your honesty, we're going to let you go. I'm like, we literally walked away. Fuck, you were fucking imbecile bro she was like what do you mean i was like you just dogged us in to the police like every time now we go out and they see us they're gonna stop us and be like have you got anything you got any alcohol you got any drugs anything at all and she was like no they ain't it's fine just flat like, yeah because that's really gonna help you know we're talking about the police mate the police stop Having a laugh, mate. You're a fucking loose cannon. What are you fucking thinking? Like, are you all there in the head, bro? Like, what are you on? And she, I literally. And, and then. She, and then we bumped into this bouncer we had seen. Like, after. Right. When we, when we went into this club and he was like, what was that all about? She's a fucking dick, bro. Like, she, my mate had stormed off at this point. And I was like, she's a fucking loose cannon. Can't go nowhere with her. She's just fucking dogging in it. They're fucking beds. And, she was, and he was like, Jesus, do you want to come back to mine tonight? Take a place and all that. I ain't gonna dub you in, t- in it to no one. I promise. I was like, no, 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 it's fine. I'm go- I just wanna go home, like, go to bed. He was like, I'll drive you in. Lo and behold, he drove me home. And then he gave me his number. No word of a lie. I never spoke to the geezer, but no word of a lie. He was like, if you ever get in trouble like that again, give me a call. And I was like, cheers, bro. Cheers, geezer. See you later. Have a nice time. No, you know, thanks. And then five minutes later, I get a phone call from my express mate. And she's like, where are you? I was like, she's like, I walked off and you then, that time I saw you, you got into a car. Where where are you? I'm like, I'm in Africa now, bro. See ya. I'm like, au revoir, get a train on your own. She was like, fuck, you fucking left me. Ra, ra, ra. And I'm like, what you fucking get, bro? You, you could have fucked the whole night up. The whole fucking night. She's like, wait for me at the station. I'm getting the next train. Rah, rah, rah. And I'm like, alright, alright. I'll meet you at the station. She was like, you fucking left me. And you were there. So I'm like, bro. That's fucking rich. Coming from the one who could have got us arrested. For being on drugs. You know. Illegally drinking. Are you a dick? Yeah, and I was like, I know, and I said I'm sorry, and I was like, yo, sometimes sorry just doesn't cut it, you're a dickhead. Yeah, I'm not condoning, like, I'm not glorifying 
breaking the law. Like, at no point would I ever glorify breaking the law. Um, you know, kids, kids will be kids, have fun, and all of that. But when it, when it nearly costs you your friendship with someone, it ain't worth it. You know, when anything nearly costs you your friendship or relationship with someone, you then have to question whether it's worth it. Like, you know, is going out and getting pissed every night and getting high every night, waking up in some strange bloke's bed, really worth it. And we're going in the next morning, like, what have I done? <coughs> and everything else. Is that really worth it when, at the end of the day, you could lose a friend because of one stupid thing? I'm, I'm going to leave that there. I hope you guys enjoy this story time as much as I did enjoy telling it. Because um, I really have enjoyed telling it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy your weekend um, and enjoy this nice weather in the back gardens and everything. Um, <clears throat> and just remember you are amazing, you are beautiful, you are strong, you are stunning and everything else and I love you. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend.